Alright guys, we're going to be doing the VCAR 2019 exam 2 question, question 3, and only about 3% got full marks on this uh, part E of the question, which is just 2 marks, so that is crazy. So let's start right away. How many activities are on the critical path? So if we look here, this is definitely on the critical path. This is also definitely, and this is also definitely, because they're just straight lines and everything just has to be on that. And now if we look at this individually, this is five plus three, which is eight. And down here is nine, and nine is obviously greater than eight, so that is on the critical path. Now here it's a bit more, there's a bit more choices. Down here it's 12, up here it's eight, but going straight across is going to give us 13 and 13 is greater than 8 or 12. So we're going to circle those. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are 8 activities on the Cooper path. Determine the latest start time of activity E. So it says that the minimum completion time is 35 weeks, so we can just put in 35. And determine the latest start time of activity E. So activity E is located right over here. We can just Go and subtract. So 35 minus 6 is 29. 29 minus 7 is 22. 20. 20 minus 4 is 16. 16 minus 1 is 15. 15 minus 3 is 12. Therefore, that is the latest start time for E. So the latest start time for E is 12 weeks. Next question says, which activity has the longest float time? So this one will take a bit more longer. So all the activities, obviously, um, all the critical path activities can have a, have a float time of zero, so there's none of those. So the answer can either be C, E, J, or H. And as we know from E, this will probably have a, um, this actually has only a float time of one day, since the alternate path is nine days, and five plus three is eight. And these two activities just have a float time of one week, that means. So I don't think it's that, I don't think it's either C or E. Now if we go down here, we have four and then two, that's six. And this length is five, which gives a float time of only one day. So I don't think it's H either, because that's also one. Whereas here, J comma four, we have a float time if we just section everything off and just consider this part, then we can just look at it just like this. So, 4, 2, which is 6, and then 6 plus 7 is 13, and then here it's 4, 4, which is 8, and so if we go backwards, 13 minus 4 is 9, so 9 minus 4 equals 5, so that Activity J has five weeks float time. So activity J has definitely the longest float time. Now, next question is saying, is it possible to reduce the completion time for activity C, D, G, H, and K and maximum of two weeks for each of them? Now, what is the new minimum time the project could take? So let's just go straight and reduce everything that is required. C, D, G, H, K. So C is now three. D is now 7, G is now 2, uh, H is 3, and K is 5. Let's check out the new critical path. 2 plus 4 is 6. Now here is 3, 3, and here is 7. We're just going to go down with 7. 6 plus 7 is 13. 14. Um, 14. We have 2, 2. Or we can do three. So let's go with the two, two, because that's longer. And that is 16. Now 20 or two plus five. So let's go down here, 18. 18 plus five is 23. And 23 plus six is 29. So the new minimum time is 29 weeks, because that is the new critical path length. Now this is the tricky question, which only got 3% of students getting it correct. So there's these activities that we just did, they cost a certain amount to reduce uh, 
per week of reduction. So maximum of two weeks per activity can be reduced. And they require they require four weeks of reduction at minimum cost. So that means what we just did here was 29 weeks, but we only want a four week reduction. So we know that the original is 35 weeks. So 35 minus four equals 31. So they, they want basically the ending to be 31, which means two of those weeks that they paid more than two weeks were wasted. So what I would do in this case is um, check out the things that we can reduce. So the things that we can reduce is C, D, G, H, K. So it's C, D, G, H, K. And now I would um, actually section off the diagram about here to here. Now the reason why is because these activities down here and up here, they won't have any effect because it's not like it's going here, 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 and um, it's just a single straight line. And none of these activities are associated with, it, associated with um, these things outside. So we can just go straight here. And what else I would do to simplify this diagram to make working out faster is just remove F altogether since we can't reduce it and because it's just one path. We can then put in all the path combinations and then work through it systematically and find the minimum cost to make it um, achievable. So CE is eight and then G, J. So let's just put in all the combinations first before working out anything. GJ then G, I, K, and then H, K. So let's put in that combination, C, E, G, J, G, I, K, H, K. So this is, we have to write down the entire path just for this section. Um, then we have D, and then we have those three combinations as well. So we can just rewrite everything, but with the activity D at the front. So G, J. G, I, K, and H, K. Now we have to find the length of these three parts, these six parts, sorry. Um, so the first one is um, 5 plus 3, 8 plus 6, 4. So that is 16. So this is the initial without any reductions whatsoever. So the first one is 16 weeks. Then the second one is G, I, K. So that is 8, 12, 21. 21 weeks. And then the next one is C, E, H, K. I remember we're just ignoring the F because um, that activity will be negated anyway. So 12 plus 8 is 20. Now we look at the next one, which is the combination of D and we have those three combinations. So he's put in can find the addition at 17, 22, 21. All right, now what we do is we look at the critical path of these six different things. So the critical path is 22. So this is from here. And we know that um, the project is to be reduced by four weeks at minimum cost. So 22 minus four equals 18 weeks. So this is the goal. We want to reach 18 weeks and we don't want to spend more than 18. And now what we can do as well is that we only have these five activities. So you can just erase every other activity that's not included. So J is not included, I is not included, E is not really included. This is just so that we don't really get really distracted and it's just easier to process. All right, nice. Now we can do our first reduction. So D, so our critical path is composed of D, G, K. Now, what is the cheapest thing that we can do first? So K is 4,000, that's a lot of money. G is a lot. D, so we're gonna reduce it by D since 2,000 is the lowest cost we can do. So let's just say negative one D. And then we're gonna reduce every item that has a um, activity D in it. So this is 16 now, this is 21, this is 20. And because these three, um, pathways don't have activity D, they're just going to stay the same. So 16, 21, 20. Now what is the new critical pathway? The new critical pathway is 21 and 21. 
Now, what is the common element, common activity in these two pathways? So this one here and this one here. So we have CGK and DGK. So K is in both of these things, but it costs four grand. Whereas G is also in there and it costs 2.5, which is cheaper. So we're going to go with G. So negative one G, just because we're removing G. And all the activities with G is this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we just remove everything from there. So 15, 20, keep this the same 20. This is 15, this is 20, and this is 20. Now we have four critical parts. And they are all 20. But remember, our goal was to have 18 weeks, so we haven't reached it yet. So let's see what is a common element between all four things. So a common element that we can see is K. But the problem is K is rather expensive, so let's see if there's a cheaper alternative. So we could either do... We could remove G and H. And this would actually cost us G and H. 3,500. That is cheaper than the K, and I think that will be the cheapest combination. So let's remove G and H. So let's start off with G. So negative 1G. This is now 14. This is now 19. This is now 20 still. This is 14. This is 19. And this is 20. And then we're also reducing H. So negative 1H. Um, this stays the same, this stays the same, there's a H here, so we're going to reduce this to 19, 14, 19, and 19. Now, as we see, we've actually used two Gs, and they said the maximum, the maximum reductions we can have per activity is two weeks. So we've already exhausted G, so we can just write in two weeks. And now we see the critical path is 19, 19, 19, 19. And in all four of these activities, we have K, which will cost us four grand. But we also have, um, and we can't use G anymore, so let's erase G. We also have H and C, and then we also have D as well. That's going to cost us. So already, that's that's all. That's already about 4K, and 4K. That means K will be the cheapest reduction. So let's do negative 1K, negative 1K, and this will reduce the this top one to nothing. CK become 18, 18, stay the same, 18, and 18. And that reaches our goal right here. So, so now what we do is we put in what we did. So we didn't use any of the reductions for C. So we just put in 0 for C. We reduced D once over here. So we're going to put it here once. We reduced H once, so we put in one here. And we reduced K once as well, so that's, yeah. And this is our final answer, and that's how we found the minimum cost. And that is the answer that only 3% of people got. So I hope this helps.